Hello everyone, this is Veronica Buzzing with V. Welcome to another video. Well, today's video is going to be a collaboration with BB Craft. However, I want to do a small tutorial on a sewn um, pocket. And so um, I'm using the Flourish collection and this one's um, a digital um, paper, but you can also use the um, six by eight sheets also. Um, however, I wanted yellow and this uh, paper pad did not have this yellow. Okay, well, the, these sheets right here are eight and one fourth inch by five and one fourth inch and they're both exactly the same. You are able to use the six by eight as well without cutting it. You don't have to cut it. It's just be just a uh, slightly oh, a half inch bigger. So um, you're able to use that. So what we're going to start with is we're going to score one of these. So it doesn't matter which one you you use. And so let me get my scoreboard out. Okay, so I'm going to use a Martha Stewart one. And this is the uh, 12 by 12. Oh, well, actually a little bit bigger than 12 by 12, but you get the gist. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to score a flap a one inch by three quarters so here it is right here I scored that already you can see it right there okay so let me put that away and this so scored what we want to do with this one is we're gonna cut it and we're gonna cut where you know the half the one and three quarters is at right there because we're going to create a pocket so let's go ahead and do that i'm using this paper studio and you can see my ring light so i'm going to slant it a little so i want to cut at one and three quarters so i've cut at one and three quarters so i'm going to go ahead and fold this over so that's what that looks like now and so what we're going to do is sandwich these together and then we're going to cut the excess because you know when you do score you lose some of that um, space and so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off make sure that's flush and it is and so i'm just gonna cut this part off So there we have it you see right there so now what I'm gonna do is what you could do is use a, a circle punch to cut a little tab off right here but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a BB craft circle die to do that since this is a BB craft collaboration so I'll go ahead and do that and be right back so here you have it right here. I did go ahead and cut this part out and this is going to be the back side and then this is going to be the front side. So what you want to do with these flaps is round the corners. I'm using this photo circle corner puncher from Michaels and you can use your crocodile if you have one. So what I love to use these for is storing memory duxes or embellishments and it just gives it a nice little touch. So there you have it right here. There's the flap. There is the inside where we grab whatever we need inside. So now we need a window and so I'm going to use a heart shape. And I'm using this one also from BB Craft. And so I'm going to go ahead and die cut this heart and it's going to be slightly higher from the bottom because I want to embellish this with some flourish ephemera and so um you know the ephemera is large so we need some space down here so I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera okay so I did go ahead and die cut that out so there's the heart here is the other piece right here which we could use this for something else and so here it is and what we're gonna do or what I'm gonna do <laughs> um, is I'm going to sew the edges but before I do that I'm gonna add some acetate or I will add a laminator sheet in there just a clear um, laminator sheet that I run through my laminator and then I'm gonna cut out a square and I'm gonna glue that there so I'll be right back 
Okay, so what I chose is a laminator sheet. And so this is just, it just looks like acetate. It's just a little more, it has a film to it. To it. It's not 100% um, clear. So um, that does fit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adhere it to the back of this piece right here. And you can see it better right here. So I'm gonna adhere it like so. So let me go ahead and do that. So there it is right there. So now what's left is to sew the back piece to the front. Okay, we are done and I did sew this and I'm gonna take you a bit closer and I used this gold thread right here which is very difficult to use. It does get caught in my machine from time to time. It's up at Michael's. You could sew a stitch right across the top before you start to sew the edges and so that's a little tip and so i'm going to go ahead and decorate this with the flourish collection and um i will be right back before i do that i do want to show you which dies i'm going to be using from bb craft and um i'm going to be using this butterfly die right here from bb craft so that's one. I'm going to use this fence right here by BB Craft. So that's the second one. The third die are these leaves right here. And they kind of remind me of the um, flourish leaves from Maggie Holmes. And so it, it comes like this and it was right here and I just snipped it off. So I'm gonna use this die as well. The next one is this floral die and it's just like kind of like a garden of flowers and I did use the flourish paper pad to cut these out. The next one I may use, I'm still not sure about it, is this one right here. It is a doily and I absolutely love it. This one you do have to run a few times through your die cutting machine because these cuts are very intricate and it takes um, some force to cut those out, but it is a beautiful die. I love it. So those are the dies, you guys, and I will be right back. I'm gonna use the, um, the Flourish collection, and this is the digital ephemera that I printed out from AC Digital. So I'll be right back. And we are back, you guys, and this is what my project looks like. Um, I went ahead and layered everything and so if you can see it from this point of view so much layering going on I have stitching I should have stitched the deer and I completely forgot and um, there is the butterfly the fence and then the uh, the flower die right here you see it's peeking in the background there and then here are the the leaves and I love this leaf and it comes with, um, again, it comes with several leaves, but this one is like a Maggie Holmes leaf. So I went ahead and used that. I added some, I'm involved in a challenge. So I went ahead and put some bows um, to gift that to the, uh, the host. And so there it is. I hope you guys liked it. Well, you guys, if you stayed this long, I appreciate that so much. And this is a hidden giveaway. And what I'm giving away is something similar to this using the Flourish collection um, with some florals here. I'm not sure I'm gonna use the deer or if I'm gonna use the peacock or if I'm going to use um, the bunny rabbit. I can make this larger as well. And that's the thing with the digitals. And so um, I, I'm liking digitals now thanks to this new paper that I found. And so um, I hated it at first because the thin paper from Michaels wasn't working out, but yeah, look at this, you guys. So um, if you're interested in winning this, all you have to do 
is um, be a visible subscriber, be 18 years of age or older, um, like this video, comment, enter me, and you will be entered in the giveaway. You guys, be sure that you're a visible subscriber, that I can go to your page and click on the channel link uh, or the channel tab, click on that and it'll list all the channels that you are subscribed to and keep that open. That'll indicate that you're a visible subscriber. So this is open all over. <laughs> so um, if you guys are not in the US, feel free to join. You're able to join as well. And hopefully you guys like this. You will be able to choose whether you want some bows, whether you want some crochet hearts, whether you want some puffy hearts. Um, I do have mint, pink, gray. And also I have um, gray, pink, mint, and in this color right here, which is kind of like a coral. And, um, or you can choose some of these little uh, roses that I've been making out of felt. And again, I have um, mint, red, pink, and gray. So whichever roses, it'll be filled like so with whatever embellishment you'd like. If you don't like any of these handmade um, felt yarn embellishments, um, you can choose some rosettes. You can choose some paper bows. Anything that you see me making, I can include. So the winner will be able to choose what goes in this little pouch. And then if I turn this over, I'm going to glue this little bow right there. I still have to add beads. So that'll be glued there. And then I added Velcro. So there is the Velcro there. And then all the bows are on this page here. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoy this. And I will be linking this on my Instagram as well. So be sure to check that out. And be sure to um, check out BB Craft. I will link everything below. And these are the dies, and all of them did work very well, um, except for this one. You have to run it through your die machine a few times. Again, this little piece right here in the middle is a little bit intricate, so it's hard for um, it to cut, but it does cut. Just need to use some elbow grease, so. <laughs> unless you have an electronic one. But um, well, I'll see you in the next video, you guys. Bye.